How old are you? I'm, I'm 23. I'm 43. This guy is 43? He fooled me. This guy's got the genetics of a Greek god. When I installed this large TV, I wanted a modern 4K TV. There wasn't any DC options. The big inverter would come on occasionally with the fan in the inverter to cool the inverter. It was really annoying. Buying a smaller pure sine wave inverter, 300 watt. Let's say I wanted to charge my drone batteries or my skateboard overnight leave this pure sine wave inverter on, a third of an amp standby power is nothing. And to my surprise, since then, I haven't turned that inverter off. It doesn't take that much power. You don't even notice that it's on. And now, if I wanna turn on my TV, I just grab the remote, kick it on. I don't have to turn on an inverter. Beeps. This is no limit van life. We're trying to make this as convenient as living in a normal studio apartment. Streaming Unlimited, I have a video on that. I'm gonna keep it real simple for you. Kalixinstitute.org. I pay 500 bucks a year for unlimited internet, just like I have at home. It's through T-Mobile. It's, it's a really rare thing. I've had it for two years now. It's the only way to go. A couple years into van life, realizing buying a 12 volt monitor and attaching a Chromecast or an Apple TV, which, those take about two watts, not a big deal. The power that I'm using, it's so insignificant. Get a really nice small TV, probably would take about the same amount of power. It's so negligible compared to the amount of power that I have now. TV with the Chromecast, brightness turned down, takes about 10 watts. This is not 4K. Uh, 4K TVs take a little more power. No limit van life. You buy the TV that you actually want versus some off-brand DC model. This all stained white. Before I put it in, I got a lot to do. Make a panel to mount my TV on. That's what I'm gonna do right now. This is coming off so that I can mount my TV. I throw my holes. When it hits the metal, I have my mark where I need to put the bigger hole for the plus nut. Keep moving forward for the plus nut. This isn't going well. This isn't going well. It's a nightmare. Total disaster. It's not round. It's not in the right place. I accidentally cut the backup camera cord with the drill bit. Part of the reason why I didn't want to run wires behind the insulation, behind everything like people do, I'm gonna actually screw the board in and I'm gonna hit these other two holes. I'm starting the holes, the smaller bit, take the board down, open the holes up with the larger bit. It looks weird. Okay, screws going in it. I recommend getting the thread started by hand. This thing is tight. I made it a little extra long so I can have wires run behind, hold them in place. Should have left a couple inches extra so that wires can run over the top. This takes forever. Still going. This thing wants to pull through. I don't want it to pull through all the way to the outside. have it sitting here in the van so I just pop it out whoop 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 done everything lined up really nicely whoa wrong way yeah nice little hardware path maybe because this is made to support big tv the big tv then you're gonna need those to go into studs mount probably weighs more than your tv <laughs> yeah what size are we looking for quick trip to the hardware store quarter inch lag screws one inch long stainless steel 95 cents each. Some washers. I'm gonna mark the template. It's just ready. Put more marks than I needed to. How's that work? Looks good. It's huge. All the vision. How do the bolts feel? You think it's gonna hold it up? Yeah. This super heavy duty one because it's gonna handle the vibrations better. Right, bouncing around and stuff. You have to figure out a way to keep it in one spot while you're driving around. It's getting to be dinner time, 5.30. Oh, where'd my... Thought I lost a washer. <laughs> that was easy. I'm gonna go tell her we're gonna go to Jersey Mike's. The TV mount. Anything that you want? Tuna and a, a filled cheesesteak. 50 inch Sony from my mom's office. Run by ass. 
without mm. being one yourself. Just ask Chick-fil-A. Put a little bungee there because it's not really holding in place like that. Cool. This size, I could sit back here and edit video. Another project almost finished. There's a lot. Yeah. Water, power, heat, all those things are great. Draperies. But a TV makes me feel like I'm home. So that's looking good. A little issue with the television. I can't get it straight. It doesn't have the easy adjustment like this. There's been a change. I have a hard drive hanging right now for a video that I'm editing. Well, this video. Clean this all up. Wires run through the wall. How awesome would that be if this just like fell off the wall right on cue? Change in the weather. That's what's changed. It's gonna be 90 degrees for the next week every day. The nights are actually very chilly. The vent that's under the van, couple hundred CFM, point it wherever I want. Feels really good when you point it at your feet. Instead of having a fan blowing the hot air of the van, the fan's outside blowing the cold air from outside on me. Instead of having the vent fan and another fan, 12 volt TVs are a total waste of time. When I started this van build, I thought, oh, everything has to be DC. A 300 watt pure sine wave inverter only costs 60 bucks. Only to have one third of an amp of standby power. Why a 50 inch this television? Size, I, I love watching movies. In order to thoroughly absorb a movie, you need a 50 inch television. This 24 is a great screen. There's a noticeable difference in the experience when I watch a really good quality movie on the larger screen. The TV that I stole from my mom's office, that thing was terrible. It wasn't 4K and it was really old. Panel that I used to mount the TV to, I wish I put more panels like that. I was trying to keep the weight down and I, maybe I got a little too extreme. Although, I really wanna keep this wall clean. So maybe I'll do it on this side. Mounting this, I had the same problem that I had on this side. The van wall is at an angle. They almost have to be level to work properly. Some sort of spacer so that the mount, the bottom of these mounts sticks out further than the top. Level it out. Thank you guys for watching this van. It's my turtle shell. I'm an introvert, have back pain, need my rest but I want to go out. Like I like people. I want to go out and meet you guys. With the price of gas, I'm not going far yet. Know of any events that I could go to with the van? Let me know. Several women, including my mother, told me that I should do cooking. So what do you guys think of a cooking show? Greatest opportunity for collabs with other YouTuber van lifers? Cook meals with other YouTubers? I don't want anything. It's only noon. My dad gave me these actually are for drapery rods. Beeswax on the wood would made it, made it all shiny. I have a lot of electrical to do. Oh, my insulation. The sheep's wool insulation, double layered. The only thing that doesn't have insulation is these bottom portions. It has a little bit of this closed cell foam. I can just pop off this panel right here and get behind there and run wires up and over to the side, like whatever I need to do. It was the most big brother kind of experience. Money, just like here. I love it. Water tank box, painting the screws black. Make the thing stronger. Love the matte black. I'm gonna drill a hole for this Propex thermostat. Do like three holes instead of doing one big hole. There's something behind here. I have to mount this lower. My Phillips head tip too wide, so I, I grabbed the smaller one. Beauty ring. The wall came out a little blotchy in spots, but I, that's what this stain is supposed to do. This one came out real even. This is oil based. The lights on these drills, amazing. Can't drill the holes on this side. Definitely gonna have to touch up these screws. The marker so that when I put the bolts in, that they would line up. 35 inches is where I am um, to end my couch area. Hmm. It does look slightly different. How's that even possible? Maybe the van's not straight. Put a board from there to there. Trick to getting this straight, you just lay it down. You pull it tight, lay it down where you want it. It's straight because you were pulling on it the whole thing in the air.